Yeah, that guy's toast. Alright, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G, bring myself a piping hot cup of coffee and you some piping hot content. Today, I am going to talk about what drives me nuts about Crossout. Uh, I love this game, but that's just something that drives me uh, nuts about this game. So we're looking at a build, you know, it's a build an exhibition. I think uh, Ridley asked me to test this thing out about a gajillion times. Intact did a video on it, but what? It's a tsunami tank. And you're going, okay, it's a tsunami tank. It's pretty, right? It's nice. Um, but you don't see a lot of these in combat. Why? Because this isn't really super armored and it's not super protected. You're not going to do great in it. What do you see a ton of in combat? Oh, stuff like this. What a piece of junk. Stuff with, you know, snowmen and uh, neon Santas and Goliath tracks mounted to the side. And, well, you got also inflatable mammoths on everything. Um, you got, what else? You got this one. You got just super inflatable mammoths sticking way out to the sides on a tiny little chassis. It's paper thin. Okay. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. I've made a lot of special modifications myself. It's the argument of spaced armor uh, in Crossout. And the fact that decor items tend to be the lightest items you can use. And some of the largest. Um, I remember in Crossout how much time I used to spend just trying to make a cool looking military themed style. Realistic looking build. The problem is... Those generally just don't work great. Um, okay. I'm going to take uh, this thing, Arctic Warrior, into combat. We're going to see how I do. Uh, and I'm going to take uh, some of these Tsunami Spider things uh, into combat. We're going to compare uh, the difference between pretty looking build uh, versus one with spaced armor. Now, if you're not sure what spaced armor is, all right, this is, this is layered armor. I mean, even that's not really layered, but it's just armor slapped on top of more armor. Like, you know looks like a normal looking build uh here we have spaced armor q amazing drawing explaining spaced armor if you're not sure how it works basically spaced armor is uh to keep cannons from destroying you cannon shots gonna hit the edge of this inflatable mammoth uh, and then it's gonna explode and it's only gonna damage parts inside the radius of the explosion and since this piece is so huge it's pretty much just gonna damage the inflatable mammoth and that's the whole point of this, is that it's just a shell. So when your explosion hits it, it's only going to damage uh, parts inside the explosion. Whereas this guy gets nailed in the spherical radius of an explosion from a can shell, it's going to get totally, totally destroyed. Uh, and take a lot more damage. Um, my proposal is after we're going to play this in a minute. My proposal, though, and I was talking to the Cat Plays games about this, is why can't Gaijin... Gaijin, never know how to say it. Why can't they implement a little bit like what they do in uh, War Thunder and uh, give us some different uh, ammo types and maybe give, you know, cannons a little bit of penetration. We know they can do it because Scorpions and Spike, they have penetration. If we could maybe get some ammo that had a little bit of armor piercing for cannons, you could maybe make different ammo packs that have different types of craftable ammo. And we could get a little armor penetration for cannons. People wouldn't always be running builds that look like this all right that's that's i don't even ask you what that is all right we're gonna try arctic warrior and then we're gonna try some tsunami spider meta things oh god we got somebody right behind us let me just spend 20 minutes turning around let me just there we go that's for you friend that's for you and one more He's still going with the harvesters. Well, wow. wait a second for it. And there he goes. I didn't even get the kill on that one. Are you kidding me? I did all the work. I did all the work. Let's get this guy. Surprisingly, um, doing better than I thought we would in this thing. Get that guy. Yeah, we can get that guy. Uh, wait for it. Can we get a little charge on this thing? No, overshot. Overshot. Okay, um, oh wait, 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 turn, 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 try to give me 20 minutes, busy turning, um, I didn't even comment on that part, uh, this build, oh god, I really, tracks need some love, 
Oh, really? Really fuses? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nice driving G. Seriously. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um. This isn't ending well. It's just me and one other guy. Great. Just fan freaking tastic. Let's not go in the circle, huh? Ow. Okay, this thing surprisingly is not dead. Okay, that guy's toast. Down to this guy. Uh, we get those weapons off there. Oh, we're down to one tsunami. Charge it. Oh, he's still got one left. He's, oh my god. Does he got a little boy on there? Not anymore, he doesn't. Better run. Better run. That's right. Where's my teammate? Oh, I drove right by this guy. God, it's 5 a.m. I didn't even see him. <laughs> Wake up, G. There we go. Who even got the kill on that one? I don't even know. All right, massive props to whomever built this thing because they've got a Goliath on one side protecting the tsunamis and the cab on the other. So it's like offset. Uh, asymmetrical build here, and I love it just because it's so smart. Um, smart use of armor for sure. It's just point blank with tsunamis, G. That's smart. No, it's not. Oh, 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 pretty much one shot at that guy. Let's not, let's not drive into fire. Let's not do that. I can't even see this guy. Can I hit him? Nope, but we tried. Who's hitting the Sethios horn? Let's turn it off. Nobody wants to hear it. Oh, what? Charge our guns. Maybe let the cloak get ready. All right. Boom. That's for you, friend. This thing is a beast. This thing's an absolute uh, beast. Uh, yeah, we took some serious hits, but not down uh, that much damage. Well, um, I was supposed to get destroyed in this thing and and not get any kills. Um, because this is just a video about me grouching and grousing about that uh, decor items tend to be the best form of armor in this game. Uh, and I just, I'd like to be able to drive things that look like real, real vehicles. To a degree, cross out. That's all I want. Just a little bit being able to drive uh, vehicles uh, the way they're, you know, maybe meant to look. Um, one other possible solution to this would be simply to make decor items, you know, just not have like any hardly any hit points or just be passed through kind of like grills maybe i don't know i just would love for not to have snowman's christmas trees and neon santas be the best form of armor in the game i don't know this is my ramblings of a man who's only halfway through his cup of coffee and it's 5 a.m and it's winter and i'm really i'm just I'm really tired y'all let me know what you think uh, about armor hit points cabins structure how could we make it in grass out so that maybe it's just a little more realistic where the builds look a little bit less ridiculous uh that build though that purple one was wicked good if you built that come see me on discord i owe you a special role of master builder you're going hey what's discord uh let's cross out hangout spot if you need cross out friends check it out link in description uh like and subscribe if you want to cross on your inbox every day. Or don't. I'm not your real teacher. I can't tell you what to do. So I'm out. Mr. GM. <laughs>